Hey guys! So today I'm going to be making a dream catcher because I have wanted one for a while. Uh, it's going to match my my room theme, uh, so I'm going to make one. I've never made one before, so we'll see how it goes. Now the um, supplies or the materials I will be using <laughs> is all that. Okay, so the supplies that I will be using to make this dream catcher will be um, this, oh, what's it called? Oh, I don't know what this is called. Needle, uh, needle point thing. You know, you put the material in here and then you close it and then you needle point. <laughs> I'm going to just be using the inside part of it and some yarn that I'm going to wrap around this and then just a bunch of little like knickknacks little things that I've accumulated that I really want to use up so that I don't just have them taking up space among my art supplies and I don't know how it got all tangled up because that's just, I don't know so yeah just a bunch of like stuff and I wasn't going to have feathers on this dream catcher because I just keep forgetting to buy feathers. And then I found these earrings that have feathers on them and I was like, ooh, I don't think I'll use the blue feathers, but I think I'm, I'm thinking I might use the black ones. So we'll, we'll see. And I have some little like, uh, like necklace and stuff. But I'm going to start off by wrapping this yarn around this wooden circle thing like so. I'm going to hot glue uh, the end and then wrap and wrap and wrap around. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So, oh my, it's so dark. <laughs> I want more light when I film. Uh, so I've been debating on what to put in the middle of my dream catcher thing. And I was thinking like lace or something because that would look nice. But I think I'm going to go with the traditional like dream catcher thingy-majig that goes in the middle. And I'm going to have to look online to see, to learn how to do that because... I don't know how to do it, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll just do me doing it. Okay, so I don't like my first attempt. I don't like how they're the same color. I'm going to use some black, like, string, but it's not string. It's cord. <laughs> but, um, because it's just, there needs to be some contrast here. So, I, I wish I had this in black, this yarn, but I do not. So I'm going to take this off and then do it again in black.
So I struggled with that hardcore. <laughs> I suggest that if you want to learn really well how to do uh, this thing, that you look it up somewhere else because I was having a really hard time doing it. <laughs> So now I'm going to just kind of mess around with uh, tying string, you know, at the end. So now I'm going to be messing around with uh, trying to figure out with uh, what I want to like tie off the end so it can hang, you know? Um, <laughs> I feel so bad. This is like not a tutorial. <laughs> I'm not really teaching how to do this. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I do. But I guess, I feel like I kind of do that a lot. Because <laughs> usually when I make a video, it's not something that I've done a million times. It's like my first time doing it. But yeah, I'm just going, I have like some ribbon. I have wire, more ribbon. I have little, uh, just knickknacks. I have a mess on my desk. I have some lace. I'm just gonna experiment. I kind of wish this was white, not beige. I'm kind of regretting doing that because I don't know how, if that looks any good. <sighs> hey, maybe I could do that. Ooh, maybe I should wrap this around. I think I might do that. I have quite a bit of it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to experiment and you guys can see me do it. I definitely like it white a lot more um, and I like how it covers up the black string that was around the edges so yeah like that um, now see now gray would look better with the white and stuff so I do want lace hanging off of this and maybe some like uh, I don't like that diamond or something. I will figure it out. Okay, so I had to charge my battery for a while, and I just kept going. Uh, I kept working on it. I've just been adding ribbon. Uh, I don't know where I stopped the video, but uh, some little dangles, this little heart thing. And I'm just going to keep on adding to this. I can't. Well, 
I can't decide if I want the feathers on this one or if I make another one. I guess I could always get more feathers. Yeah, I'll probably just put them on this one. So I have these feathers, but I think I'm going to put them last. I'm just going to keep adding stuff. So I'm just going to keep working on it. I really like it so far. And there it is, there's my dream catcher. I hung it from my ceiling so that it could dangle down. Uh, I think it's so cute. I love the black feathers and I just really like it. And I'll get up closer right now. And as you can see, you know, I just used just things that I already had, just some you know, an old bell, some beads, this little diamond thing that I, uh, Oh, it's not focusing. I just wrapped wire around it so I could make it to a pendant. You know, oh, come on. ribbon, lace, this little uh, Mexican coin, key. This was an earring that I bent so it looks like an infinity sign. You know, just uh, anything. I'm sorry, I'm at a really bad angle. <laughs> It's just really, really high up. And then these feathers were from earrings that I had, so, you know, just all recycled stuff. It's from a necklace. But I think it's really, really cute. Oh! So, yeah, there it is. I love it. And I actually liked it so much that I made another one. <laughs> this one's, you know, different. It doesn't have anything dangling from it. But I really like this one, too. It's a lot more simple. Um, my camera does not want to focus. But yeah, I'm like in love with dream catchers right now. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed watching me make this dream catcher, I hope you guys got something out of it. <laughs> um, just inspiration maybe to make your own. So that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.